the case, 7404 dissolved ozone test kit. When you open the kit, you can see that there's multiple items included with it. Some of them are permanent items, others are disposable. First thing we're pulling out here is the set of 30 ampules. These are used up with the tests and they are replaceable. We do sell the replacements. One ampule per test is used. And then this is the activator solution. The activator solution is also used up. It causes chemical reaction with the test. This is the test cup. It goes up to 25 milliliters. This of course is reusable. The other parts of the kit that are reusable are the comparators. There's two comparators. The lower level comparator goes from 0 0.05 parts per million dissolved ozone, which is a very low pink color, up to 0.6 parts per million, which is a darker pink color. Darker pink indicates more dissolved ozone. If your dissolved ozone is higher than 0.6 parts per million, you move on to the higher level comparator, which starts at 0.6, where the lower one leaves off and goes up to 3 parts per million. To prepare for the test, we'll make sure that we have everything laid out. This is the ampule for taking the sample with. This is the squirt bottle that we're going to use. Whenever the button is pressed, it produces dissolved ozone that comes out the nozzle. We're going to start by putting five drops of activator solution into the test bottle. We want to fill it up to the 25 milliliter point with the dissolved ozone. So that's what we're doing with our spray bottle here. The reason this part of the test has to go quickly is because the dissolved ozone starts to break down almost immediately. And we need to have it in the ampule before the ozone starts to break down to ensure an accurate test. So you pick up the ampule, you swirl it a few times, you snap off the end. When you snap off the end, it's vacuum sealed on the inside, so it instantly draws the sample up into the tube. You'll want to tilt it back and forth and move that bubble back and forth to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. And then you wait one minute for the color to develop correctly. You can go ahead and dry it off while you're waiting because that will allow it to be easier to see the color of the pink after the test is fully developed. Now that a minute has passed, it's time to compare the test vial to the comparator. Since we're dealing with a fairly light pink color here, we're going to go ahead and slide it in lower level comparator, which goes up to 0.6 parts per million. It's obviously much darker than the 0 0.05 parts per million, which is a very, very light pink. You can see that ours in the middle there is much darker. So we're going to look closely at the higher level of 0.6 parts per million. When you look closely, I would say that that's still darker than that. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the lower level comparator, and then I'm going to move on to the higher level comparator, which picks up where the other one leaves off at 0.6 parts per million and goes up to 3 parts per million. In this case, I feel like the pink about matches the 1.5 parts per million dissolved ozone spot. 